here is Ken in the Highlands, who's got a bone to pick with me. Go ahead, Ken. Yes, thanks for taking my call, George. Welcome. Um, I appreciate your freedom of speech. And, uh, this, my, my comments might test that tonight. Uh, I expect you'll put me off afterwards. However, George, we've got to be honest, um, uh, you're entitled to your freedom of speech and your opinions, but uh, you come across, George, as very... Uh, Anti-American. Is, 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 that, is that why I've had Americans on the show all night? Yeah, but it's a certain type of American you had on. Ah, so I'm not anti-American, I'm just anti a certain type of American. Well, I'm guilty as charged, uh, Ken. I'm so against George Bush and John McCain and Sarah Palin and the American right. I'm so against them. But that's not the same as being anti-American, is it? Okay, well, well, if you just let me, just let me express my... Yeah, words. but just, your premise is false, and I'd like you to concede that. You said that I was anti-American. I told you I've had Americans on the show all night. You said it's only a certain kind of American. Now, I'm presuming you didn't mean black Americans. I'm presuming you meant radical Americans. Well, hey, what a surprise, Ken. I prefer radical Americans to reactionary ones. Okay, yeah, you can take that. However, the black, I, I was actually living... I, I played football in America, George, 1967-68, and I was there when the Black Panthers were, were uh, taken over, were very effective there, and they were a very violent uh, political and religious movement, closely, much... Uh, well, first of all, they weren't remotely religious. They may have been a radical political movement, but they were not a religious movement. It's, no, you, no. it's you that's the religious man, not them. George, they were, ve they were uh, very much Muslim-orientated. They're not remotely Muslim-orientated. Just don't give me that, okay? I know that that's your particular religious furrow that you like to plough, not just on this show, but you hang around like a praying mantis phoning every radio show on the spectrum. Listen... Keep your religious bigotry to yourself. The Black Panthers were not Muslims, okay? Well, let me give me, let me speak, George. I appreciate that. You can say what you want about me, however. Uh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. The, last night, now, George, uh, there was a, a gentleman phoned up about Israel, and uh, it was a very sad. You never give the gentleman time to speak. You're, you're very anti-Israel, George. Oh, so I'm anti-American and I'm anti-Israel. I'm not anti-American and I'm not anti-Israel. I'm against right-wing reactionary Americans. I'm against right-wing reactionary Israelis. And I'm against your uh, constant God-bothering on the radio. That's what I'm against. Now, I'm giving you the microphone. Use it and make your point. Uh, my, my point also is, George, you're very anti-Christian. How can I be anti-Christian? I'm practically the only religious believer on this station. I'm practically the only person that stands up for the idea of God in the British media today. How can I be anti-Christian? You are a Roman Catholic, George. You... So... This is, the, this is the kind of bigot. I don't know why we let this guy on. I really don't know why we let this guy on. I'm anti-Christian because I'm a Roman Catholic. Yes. You're are you insane? Ken, are you insane? George, you're, you're saying that somebody is anti-Christian because they're a Roman Catholic? Are you out of your tiny little Highlands mind? Did you know that uh, the greatest persecutors of Christians were the Roman Catholic Church? Ah, I've had enough of you. Tell you what, don't phone me back. Because I'm in, in the course of the last three minutes, you have... You have attacked Muslims, you have attacked Roman Catholics, you're just a bigot, Ken. And I have this picture of you, it may be right or it may be wrong, of, of, of this little man with a, with a white beard, sitting up there on a rock in the highlands, denouncing all and sundry, only your path to God is right, which you were born again to. I wasn't born again, Ken. I always believed in God. I didn't need to get born again. And I'm not going to be called anti-Christian because I'm a Roman Catholic.